myself accountability. This morning my alarm clock went off six o'clock and I was absolutely not feeling it. Everything was hurting. I stood up, I took that first step in the morning and obviously if you're sore and take that first step in the morning, everything hurts even more before you, you know, start get, getting moving and getting some blood into the legs but I didn't feel like going out at all but important thing here I told myself yesterday I want to go try running try getting the legs moving because they felt quite good yesterday and I knew it was coming up and I knew that my legs are not going to feel like it and I want to hit snooze on that alarm clock and just sleep for another 30 minutes self accountability got up ah, drank some water and just put on my shoes not thinking about it just do what you said you'd do get out there put on those running shoes get moving and after 10 minutes you'll feel great and you'll set the tone for the day if you go out for a run in the morning but if not you set the tone for the evening or to end the day on a high note or whatever just doing a chill 5k run <sighs> nothing big nothing to set records just getting the legs moving recovery style run catch you at the end let's keep going <laughs> we got it done, baby. Ground complete. It was super slow, obviously, but I don't mind at all. I'm really happy with that one. We did 36 minutes, 5.2 kilometers, 702 pace, <laughs> and heart rate was 132. So, low heart rate, slow pace, you know, relative to my race pace it's all about getting the legs moving felt great at the end uh, legs started loosening loosening up really really good I'm um, happy with this start to the day this is your sign to get after it today let's get moving go work out go for a run just a quick one doesn't have to be long if you don't have time go out for 15 20 minutes it's so good for your body and especially for your soul and mind <laughs> let's get going man let's get this day started ah, catch you later <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah back in the car on the way to the gym double espresso is in shoulder and arm day Woo -woo. i want to talk about structuring the workout or your workout or a workout in general and how to set up your sets your workout and you can apply this to almost every workout in the gym build muscle but also if you if you're not you know like into building muscle if you just want to maybe lose weight or just for health and longevity to prevent injuries you can apply this structure to every single workout if you're a bit more advanced you can play around with different types of workouts different approaches to heavy movements and so on but it comes down to the basics of always starting out with the biggest movement and the heaviest movement because at the start of your workout you obviously have the most power in you the most energy and you can push the hardest so we want to make use of that energy so that means we want to do on the push day if we're training chest do the bench press you know heavy compound movements on legs we're going to, going to do squats or deadlifts on the back days we're going to do heavy rows or also deadlifts or pull-ups i mean those are the heavy movements the big compound movements that require the most energy and the most strength from you so we want to focus on those at the beginning and then towards the end of the workout we want to switch into more isolating movements getting you know 
more of that blood into the muscle, get more squeezing movements. Yeah, on the chest day, we can do like cable flies and or flies on the machine. We're just using one joint, like for the flies, we're just moving the elbows. And it's not like a compound movement where like at the bench press, we're using the el elbow as a joint and the shoulder. So co compound movements are always multi joint movements. Uh, for the squat, it's your knees and your hips, for example. Towards the end of the ex uh, of your workout, go more into isolation movements, getting that blood flowing because we're already exhausted and we don't want to, or we don't have as much energy. So we just want to make use of that blood that's already in the muscle, the joints that are warmed up and then isolated and get a big squeeze into the muscle. For your chest day, that can be flies, as I already said, cable flies, flies on the machine for your back workout that can be pullovers i don't know back doesn't even have that many isolation movement pullovers is like the the biggest one to get that stretch and also squeeze and for the legs it's going to be the leg extension and the hamstring curl so that's a single joint movement where we can squeeze the muscle really hard and then that's about it man that's your workout three exercises two three working sets per exercise and then we're at you know those six to nine sets in total and if you really push it it's all you're gonna need <laughs> that's the essential thing it's all you need if you push it hard enough if you go to mus muscular failure on those sets that matter that's a basic workout structure you can apply that to every workout first do the hard movements the one that require the most strength the ones that are you know the most taxing on your muscle and on your nervous system on your body and then go into lighter lighter movements that are more enjoyable and you can just pump out the muscle so we're here at the gym now <laughs> i've been talking too long yapping about so let's get that music pumping and get hyped up for the workout let's get this i'll catch you inside let's go T -t -t taylor about the fucking flex Sprinkled in some side delt action and also some rear delt action. So, still got that pump. The session was good. Intensity was high. So, happy with that one. Ooh, I'm looking forward to ground beef. Woo! I love it. I eat the same shit every day and I still love it. I have some variety in there, but I don't mind eating the same stuff over and over again as long as it tastes good for me i don't mind and it's you know got all my nutrients in there i'm happy <laughs> happy camper here <laughs> ah la la went for a run in the morning i want to incorporate more cardio in the morning getting it done setting the tone for the day and getting the system fired up and ready to you know tackle what's on the plan for the day but yeah, it's just a bit tougher to get up and getting it done but that's the exact reason why it's so beneficial and so good to get it getting it done because you feel so good afterwards and the starting the day is so nice it's just always a fight <laughs> but as you know we like to fight against our inner demon at least i do against that little bitch <laughs> If you were inspired or motivated and you got up and got shit done today, man, I'm so proud of you. We get shit done, we go after it and we move forward. You know how we do, like the video and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video because we're gonna get after it again, man. Another day, another pump 
know how you do it do a double session for sure let's get going man i'll catch you tomorrow i love you peace let's go